Hey, a folk studio here. So I'm going to talk about Hanover for a little bit. More specifically, I'm going to talk about one game, Curse vs. TSM. Now, this was a big game because it really ended up causing TSM to go home. Like, if TSM had won one more game, including this game, they would have advanced. But TSM and Curse tied to get out of group stages. And the fact that Curse had won this game let them advance. And they won it for a few reasons. And I'm just going to talk about them. A lot of this comes down to picks. So TSM played a very, very reactive game. Their picks are not all that cohesive. There is no clear goal with their team composition. They have Irelia, Maokai, Sever, Sona, Gragas. Maokai is good at picking off uh, one person, so is Irelia. You know, Maokai, Lunt, or Root is amazing for that one person. Same with Irelia Dash. Uh, Sivir and Sona are great for AoE compositions, and then Gragas is great for catching people out and stopping, a, like, what am I trying to say? Disrupting a fight or resetting it. So if you don't want to fight, you can just disengage, or if you're in a fight, you can split everybody up so that that way they're not protected. Now then, let's look, look at Curse's team. Curse has Kogma, Nunu, Shyvana, Morgana, and Mundo. Who there cannot keep Kogma protected? Shyvana can drag people away with her dragon form to keep Kogma protected. Mundo can slow people down. Mundo's got amazing peel actually because cleavers are super super strong when it comes to the slow. Nunu has his ult, he has his blood boil. I mean everything except consume is about keeping Kogma alive. And Morgana's got her black shield. So if they ever got into a fight, or Kogma would be able to stay alive just in ideal circumstances. There's a very clear focus. Kogma is going to be the carry. Everything you do to try and kill Kogma will not work because we've got so many walls to go through. TSM will catch someone, or maybe we'll AoE someone, maybe we'll disrupt the fight. Yeah. Optimally, they'd want Gragas to go in and AoE and just push Kogma towards them or everybody far away, or just Kogma really far away so he couldn't do anything. In that fight, but Curse is too good for that. So what ended up happening in the game was they also use a lot of outdated information. So how good is Gragas against Morgana? Back in the day, you'd say, oh, Gragas, he counters Morgana. What's going to happen in a fight? Morgana's going to walk in. Her team might be around her, but Gragas can just either ult her into his team just to burn her down before her team can react or just bolt her away. They can, they can start another team fight with Morgana's ult down, and they can even wait for Gragas' ult to show up again because it's got such a short cooldown. What did Curse do? Um, they would not get into fights like that. They would say, okay, you guys want to wait for us to go in and just catch us. What we're going to do is we're just going to sh shoot up bindings, and if we catch someone, we'll you know, hit them a bit, maybe dive onto them, kill them, and you have to blow Gragas' ult just to not die. And we still have our, our binding, we still have our, all our ults up. So TSM actually tried to react to this. They're like, okay, you guys don't want to play this little walk into us fight. We're just going to go ahead, uh, start fights on our own. Because we can do it. We've got Gragas. Gragas can do that. And he, he can, it's true. And then Curse played this in such a good way. NY Jackie was just getting every dark shield to prevent Gragas ult from killing who it need or from pushing who it needed to push. Now that's just impressive. Gragasult has like about maybe half a second, 0.75 seconds before it uh, lands. So there's a really small delay on it, so you can react to it. And why Jackie was just e expecting Reginald to come in. He was just on point, like, all right, I'm going to have my fingers on all of the, I'll be out just a little bit. And if he ults me, I'll be safe. Or if that guy's out, I can ult, um, shield him, he'll be safe. So every time Reginald tried to start a fight, they lost it. Or they lost the ult, uh, Curse would just initiate on them right after, and TSM couldn't do anything. So what could TSM have done better? Well, right now, they just don't have a cohesive team. They don't have anything to stop Kogma. I mean, they can jump on him with Aurelia and Maokai, but if they get to him, they're going to be so weak and so dead, and he can just walk away. Um, their AoE isn't strong. They have, you know, Sever and Gragas, which is actually a lot of damage, but... Gragas is not actually an AoE hero for traditional AoE teams. And Aurelia can also do a lot of AoE damage, but it's not really 
that big. So they need to just choose something more cohesive. They should have gone all, all out AOE, all out poke, all out, you know, disengage. Janna could have come in. They had a lot more options, but they chose a very, very reactive team. Then Curse, with their very focused team composition, was just able to sweep that game. TSM couldn't do anything. Like, TSM is a good team. They did not have the best performance at Hanover. They did really well. But, I mean, these are top teams, and just a few small mistakes cost them. But these compositions just murdered them the most. The fact that they just could not do anything cost them, them the game. That's how you kind of want to approach uh, looking at just teams and team compositions. What can you actually do? Do you have a focus? What's your plan? And having a plan, having this focus, is what sets teams apart right now. Moscow 5, they have a focus. They have a composition in mind. They might not get all their champs that they always want, but they have a plan with every composition they do. And when they go through with their plan, if you don't stop them, you lose. If you do try and stop them, there's actually a game. Like, you might win, but they're not immediately stopped. So, I just want you guys, want you guys to look at this uh, when you see the, the next Hanover games. Semifinals and finals are going to be awesome. This has been a very interesting tournament. I've seen a lot of weird things. So just look. See what the team compositions are. See what their focuses are. And you'll see teams like Moscow 5 just coming out ahead. All right, this is Studio. I hope this did not be seen too much. I'll see you all tomorrow with a daily and enjoy the games.